It's funny how, back home in Paris, laundry seems such a chore. Yet down here in Provence, it evolves into a Zen working meditation. When you hang it, you breathe in the contrast between the cool, damp textiles and the hot, dry sun. And when you return to collect it, you feel that fresh, crisp brush against your skin. It heightens the senses. This time while hanging laundry, I became aware of a faint scent of anise on the breeze and realized it was coming from the old walnut tree that the line was tied to, and more precisely, from its walnuts, still green. Then I noticed that last night's storm had blown many to the ground. So I went back to the house for a basket to collect mostly fallen walnuts, leaving the others on the tree to mature. To make this old-fashioned French recipe, all you need are the green walnuts, of course, and tarragon, as well as a jar, plain vinegar, and something to pierce the walnuts with. You do need to be able to pierce the walnuts, which means you need to gather or pick them before the shell forms. This happens anywhere from mid-June to mid-July in the Northern Hemisphere, depending on where you are. If you have plastic gloves, you might want to use them, as walnut juice is extremely high in tannins, staining everything it touches, durably. So much so that it's used to stain furniture. So place the green walnuts in the jar as soon as you've pierced them to keep them from staining anything within arm's length. I would add that even the finished green walnut pickles are full of that staining stuff, but then again, that's what gives them their unique astringency that marries so well with sweeter cheeses, meats, or fish. That said, I didn't have gloves, which is why I'm proceeding with obvious caution. If you like this kind of simple recipe, let me know with a thumbs up and feel free to share with anyone else who does. You might also enjoy some of my others, like the cherries and kirsch that I posted recently, or the salt cured bergamots I made back home in Paris. Tuck the sprigs of tarragon in as you go to hold them down. Tarragon is really all you need for the traditional recipe as the flavor marries so well with the anise overtones of green walnuts. But you could also toss in fresh juniper berries or other complementary spices. As for the vinegar, the traditional recipe calls for plain white, which is what I'm using. But I'm sure white wine vinegar would be delicious. Cider or other strong vinegars would probably mask the delicate anise flavor of the green walnuts and the tarragon. Leave the filter jar in a cool, dark place for at least a month before opening. Slice the pickles to serve and hold on to that vinegar. With time, it will mellow and be great used in salad dressings. And voila! French pickled green walnuts and vinegar. Let me know how they worked for you. And for more videos on simple everyday French living, hit subscribe and the notification bell. See you next time.